Anyways, this is Rayman. Nine days ago, when I was talking about Plonk for the Super Nintendo, oh, when that game came out first for four, Rayman was a huge hit in 1995. It was also was going to be released on the Super Nintendo, but cancel it. And it was going to be on the Super Nintendo in 1994, but it was canceled. You can put your name in any time you want, or use cheat codes. Anyways, this is our main character, Rayman, our favorite big nose, banana hairdo, egg plum body, and funny Easter eggs and funny hands hero with big eyes. Our hero, Rayman's been around since 1995. Already 23 years old. I'm 24, actually. See? And our beloved hero uses his fists as weapons. In this game, you have to collect certain gems to get on most likely extra lives and in an extra life. In this game, you have to save all the bullet tombs that are trapped in cages. And you have to collect all of them to unlock on the new stages. The first stage you enter in is the jungle. Oh, and you have to find hidden areas. And then fight many bosses. First one is the mosquito. It's a pretty simple and easy in him like a few times and he's down for the count. He's pretty much the easiest one. And just like that, he's defeated, and you get this victory animation dance. And you see that poor mosquito crying, and he pats him on the head and feels sorry for them, and now they're best friends. And you ride him. You can press the action button and make him go faster. Or just avoid getting hit by those spikes. You'll get new abilities on the way from Tina. Uh, the good fairy that will give you new abilities to fly. Rayman to fly with his hair. Climb ability. Punching. Most likely. Growing plants for some reason. And you get to that checkpoint at the end of the stage. And use those oversized plums to jump on the bad guy's head as platforms. You get to the second stage where this game gets really hard and tough. It doesn't jerk around this time. In the second stage, you enter in a musical world and avoid in deadly musical notes or spying sacks. Counts. One hit and Rayman is definitely gonna die. 
a lot. There's like lots of these worlds you have to go through. So the game becomes a lot harder later on and doesn't joke around. You have to avoid the enemies or beat them up and these ones you can't defeat will shoot lasers out of their eyes. These will, will mess you up badly. And you get a extra health pick up if you take damage. And it'll help you on the way when you are about to die. And those pink green ink things will help bring out on the way swinging side to side. Hard to reach places. And slippery and grounds out will make it tougher for him to jump on the side to side and trumpet making you blow to the other side. Anyways, you can jump on these weird things that are balls with eyes. Which at first when I was a kid, I thought I were just full in chocolate head balls. And jump on those guys' drums and that big crystal orb. Anyway, to get to the saxophone, um, as the main boss, and avoid his dangerous musical notes, lots of doom and bombs. You have to jump at the right moment, and then wait until that very moment, head back at him. Then and punch him, and he is done. And we get to the third stage where or this gets real. So you end up in the Rocky Mountains, and it becomes a lot tougher for Rayman um, to get through. With these deadly spikes of doom. Rock monsters will throw. Robber ball. There's that you. And these enemies will keep jumping around like. Armadillos or crickets. It gets even tougher and a lot harder to avoid these enemies' attacks. And here's Mr. Stone. Um, he'll be the main boss in the game, too. He'll just keep running away from far away as far away from him as possible, or you'll be straight up dead. Anyways, you have about some other people in the game too. Oh, and Amen has the ability to fly and try to cut the rope before he sinks to the bottom. And reach his exit at the end. Another stage. And. Now we get to the other boss, it's Mr. Stone. The only way to beat this guy is to kill the happy stone face. The only way to hit him is to make sure 
agree that way. Moment. Whenever he throws a big boulder at you or certain hand gloves appear right in front of you on the other side. Just wait patiently until it magically appears. Here's and then jump and finish him off and he's stuck with a happy head. And she gives you ability to run faster and you get the ability to become small and you get to the art world. Where this game gets really tough of sharp pencils coming at you and flying enemies with flying pens. Okay, come right at you. And jump on bouncy erasers and whatever those sparkle things are supposed to be. And you hit these. Also bouncy, oh, black and white ball things with eyes. And trippy oil, and you face the other boss, which is a Viking lady. And she becomes really hard and unfair to defeat, and you have to avoid her stabbing Knights of Doom, not knowing what you're supposed to do to avoid her death. Dangerous weapons. And jump on them at the right moment and you'll actually beat her. You know you have to fight the pirates first, which I didn't show you. The stage is getting even harder to avoid these sharp swordfishes are there. Get swollen and Find more enemies. These ones go on and on and on. Anyway, so I'll do this in part two of Rayman and for the PlayStation One. That's also on Sega Saturn and most likely Game Boy Advance too. So I'll finish the rest of this up in part two. Well, the Rayman review game. And pretty soon I'll do the TV show. And I'll talk about the sequels. And most likely the spin-off of the rabbits are also from Rayman in the future. See you guys in part two. Bye.